Hi, this is Suze B and welcome to Highlanders TV. I'm down at Strictly Coffee today because I heard that Tamati Ellison might be working. Perhaps he can make me a coffee. Yeah, I said it's Thanks for the coffee, Tams. You did a really great job. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you tell us how, how did you get on making these? Um, oh, I've been coming here for um, for a little while, kind of just just buying my coffee here, and then um, decided I wouldn't mind trying to make them. So uh, I hang out here when I can. We've got a bit of time off, and um, <laughs> I'm uh, definitely not the best. I'm definitely uh, a level one amateur, but I enjoy it. Yeah, it's cool. It's tasty. Um, well, I was just wondering this year, has it been a little bit frustrating watching the game from the sidelines? Yeah, it's been um, it's been really tough. Obviously, um, the first few rounds not having um, the season go the way we want it to go, but um, and not being able to do anything about it on the field has been tough. So um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting back out there and, and trying to help the boys, really. Uh, we're looking forward to it as well. Now, in Dunedin, how are you finding bringing up a young family? What are the best bits about bringing up a young family in Dunedin? I think um, it's, it's a reasonably small place. It's easy to get around, so I can train. I can get home pretty quick, um, which is cool when everything's close. Nice, friendly people. When, um, obviously, stadium with a roof on it helps because uh, <laughs> kids can come to the games and um, they don't get Not cold. <laughs> <laughs> How's your brother getting on in Japan? Yeah, he's uh, so he just arrived up there last week. Um, he seems to be enjoying it. He's... He's a pretty tough kind of guy, so um, I think he'll enjoy it up there. I think they'll enjoy him as well if he, um, if he gets into the language and, and he can keep himself uh, healthy and fit. You played a little bit in Japan yourself, right? So can you tell us, do you know any Japanese and can you share it with us? Uh, um, I only know a little bit. Uh, it's more benkyo. I need to probably keep studying. Um, <laughs> What's your what's your most used word while you're over there? Uh, probably arigato. <laughs> and what's that mean? Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> arigato. <laughs> awesome. Now there seems to be a trend of players moving across to Japan. And um, what do you think of that? Um, oh, it's it's tough. I think um, Steve Hansen spoke last night about you know the aging All Blacks group they've got and. And you know, you, either you're going to make that decision, or the coach is going to make it for you. But um, yeah, eventually, you got to you got to look at a few options. And um, you know, the guys that are leaving have, have have done New Zealand a pretty good service. So um, I wish them well. Now you've roomed with quite a few people in your time, quite a few players. Um, who are your favourite, and can you tell us why? Um, Jose's pretty good. No, Jose's pretty good. He's. Uh, He's pretty. Um, he's an athlete, eh? so if you hang out with him, you kind of end up stretching and eating all the right stuff and doing press ups and sit ups at night and <laughs> looking in the mirror together. <laughs> nah, he's good. Um, probably Corey Jane's got to be the worst. He's Ooh. a dirtiest roommate. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> clothes everywhere. <laughs> I don't know how his poor wife uh, looks after him at home, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, CJ. Now, um, in a Highlanders only fight for life, who would you call out and why? Call out? Well, me personally, to fight them. Um, I'll probably fight um, Lima at the moment because he's in a moon boot, so he, he couldn't move. <laughs> Pick um, on the week. <laughs> so I'll get him why he's only got one leg. Uh, no, we don't fight much in the Highlanders now that James Haskell's gone. So. <laughs> Do you have uh, some body body art that you're quite proud of that you'd like to tell us about? Oh yeah, I've got a new um, a puhoro. It's called a, a puhoro or pepeha, which um, was a traditional Maori tattoo and had it finished in um, December of last year. Uh, kind of 55 hours worth of um, a buzzing needle. But um, yeah, it's something that I had planned for a number of years and I had to wait until I had a, a break or an injury to, to get it finished. So um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of it and uh, it's, uh, it's an honour to have it um, done from Derek Lardelli who's, who's a real tohunga or real um, leader in the, um, I guess, um, in, in the Māori art and, and all things Māori. Cool. Now, my final question um, is about the song Stand By Me. Mm. Um, I know that's a pivotal moment of your career. I, is there a small chance that you could do just the, the smallest rendition of it, just just at the end here, please? Uh, it would make my life. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I'd love to, but um, my voice just isn't the same. Um, it's just not the same as it used to be. So I've, I had too much coffee. <laughs> and I wouldn't do it justice. I wouldn't do that ten-year-old kid justice. Oh. <laughs> Maybe my son can sing it. Yeah, we'll get him on here. So. Oh, th- that would actually be awesome. Maybe, maybe next time, then, guys. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for the delicious coffee today. You're welcome. Hello. You got some?